My name is Lisa Taylor. I'm a Porsche, Ferrari, McLaren, NSX collector. I also am a vice president of an aerospace company. I actually built my first car. <laughs> I had, with my father, I built, it was called an Aztec. It was a fiberglass bodied car, had gull wing doors. We put Lamborghini seats in it. And I was driving by 15 and a half. I was so excited to drive my first car. My father was the one I got the love of cars from. He had the first uh, Testarossa Ferrari serial number one, and he always had Maseratis, Ferraris. And it's interesting, he never had a Porsche. <laughs> and now I have quite a few Porsches. I love Porsche. I drove my first Porsche in 1981, and I've owned one ever since. I was just so impressed how it handled and I actually drove a, a Mazda RX-7 and I thought that was the best car in the world and a friend of mine said, oh, you have to drive my Porsche. He had a 911 and I, I drove that 911 and I sold my Mazda RX-7 the next day. <laughs> I'm just not a black, white, silver colored car person. It started off with a red and then I started getting a little more bolder with a ruby star and the uh, we have mint green and uh, amethyst metallic and I just like the bright colors so to have these paint to samples is is very rare. I'm almost famous for my ruby star RS. It was a pretty bold move to order a ruby star Porsche. When it came off the truck, it was kind of a deep magenta, just beautiful color. So I love that car. It was a, the cover of the Festival of Speed on my poster. That's just a really fun, unusual car. Little 73 Oslo Porsche down in the end there is a, that's a fun car. I do a lot of rallies in that car. I did sneak some air conditioning and a radio in there to make it a little more modern so it's more comfortable, but that's my favorite car. As you notice, every single one of my cars is on Michelin's. Being a female in uh, car collecting is, is very rare. Everybody thinks these are all my, all my boyfriend's cars and they think, uh, they said, well, it couldn't be hers. <laughs> Women don't collect cars. And I, I do get a lot of people ask, how many cars do you have? And I'll never tell them. Because <laughs> to me, it's almost like bragging how many cars. I just say, I have a, a few. I actually started going to Monterey Pebble Beach car show with my family in the 70s. And that just kind of got me going on to Pebble Beach and Car Week and I've been going for the last 10 years and just just driving down the street you know you'll be leaving Laguna Seca and that's almost the most fun part of it a trip is just seeing all the cars driving down the street Ferraris, Bugattis, Lamborghinis, Porsches it's just all the cars driving around is so fun it's just such a, a hype there Great week, I love Monterey Car Week. We'll probably try to do a scenic route. We'll have some other GT3s and some other bright colors, so we're gonna be quite uh, creating quite a scene. <laughs> Yeah, I'm very picky about the uh, the tires and the wheels, and 
so I just feel like the cars handle so much better with Michelins on them. And the Sport Cup 2s are great for racing. I actually used to race horses. We had the Flying L Ranch and had a, a bad horseback riding accident. So I ended up getting into a safer sport than racing horses. This was my first race car, it was my car I bought from Patrick Dempsey. So when I got into racing, I went in big. I went right for the GT3 RS. I, I swapped horses for Porsches. <laughs> Whenever we have a car, we always put our dogs in the car. We don't worry about getting them dirty, but uh, Turbo and Targa go in my Turbo Targa, Targa. <laughs> but we have the, the Bernese Mountain Dogs and some Golden Retrievers. have a, a Porsche tractor from 1956 and we had a, a party here with about 300 Porsche enthusiasts and someone else brought their Porsche tractor so we did a, a Porsche tractor racing. I'm not very good. <laughs> it's all that, that shifting, the 1956 <laughs> shifting. <laughs>